If you want to take your chin chin to another level, then try this coconut and banana chin chin. So delicious, I promise you. Welcome to the social side of YouTube. My name is Teresa Metuka. So the first thing to do is to mash your bananas. I'm using overly wiped banana because of the moistness it's going to give and also the sweetness. So if you don't have overripe bananas, you can just wipe it quickly by baking it in the oven with it back. Just place in a preheated oven for 10 to 15 minutes and it's going to ripen very fast and the taste will be awesome and delicious. So the reason why I'm using the ripened bananas is to infuse use more moisture to my chin chin but you can also use the banana that is just wiped not overripe as well but the results will be different so whatever one you're going with it is fine so the next thing you want to do is add in coconut milk and milk with sugar so please check the description box for the ingredients measurement so be mindful of the amount of sugar that you use because this can be overly sweet so the next thing you want to do this is optional though is to add in and so like i said the banana is going to add moisture to this or you can decide to skip the egg because of the banana because the banana is going to add moisture but if you want your chin chin to be richer you can add in the egg as well but if you want to go for really crunchy very very crunchy chin chin then skip the addition of the egg so the next thing you want to do is to save your flour this is to remove impurities and then add in desiccated coconut and add in salt baking powder and cinnamon then i added some lemon zest this is to add some freshness and some zestiness to our chin chin mix this together if you're coming across my channel for the first time thanks for stopping by do not forget to click on the subscribe button turn on your post notification to get notified of when i drop new videos and if you're enjoying this video you can just let me know by clicking on the like button and commenting below thank you Add in butter and rub it in until a crumble-like texture is formed. Make it well in the middle and add in your liquid mixture and mix this together until everything is fairly combined. done that so the next thing you want to do is to knead it so i'm using my standing mixer to knead my chin chin so if you don't have a standing mixer you can knead this in a clean surface just make sure you pour flour in your kneading surface and knead this properly if you don't know how to knead i have various kneading videos that i'll be dropping the link as you're watching right now just go and click on the link that is showing or after this video just click on the link to watch how to properly knead so i have another changing recipe that i use my hands in kneading so you can watch that as well to knead your chin chin dough properly <music> I 
dough is well kneaded so you know when your dough is well kneaded when you poke on it and it bounces back quickly or when you try to raise it up and do a pan test and it doesn't tear easily then you know you've properly kneaded your dough <laughs> So the next thing is to allow this to rest for just 10 minutes. This is to allow the gluten to rest and also this will enhance the flavor of your chin chin. after the 10 minutes cut into two or four depending on how you want to work with this so i prefer cutting mine in four so that i can work with this very very easily So the next thing I want to do is to roll out my dough and I'm working with one at a time. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place the remaining dough in the bowl and cover. This is very important because if you don't do that, your dough is going to dry out, especially if you stay in the north or in the area that has very dry weather, it is going to dry out and you'll, you'll have to re knead this again. So you don't want that, so just cover and work with one and then the next thing you bring out and work with the rest bowl. So I'm working with one and then I place my dough in a floured surface so that my dough doesn't stick to my work area. Flour your kneading surface so that you can roll your dough properly. So do not go overboard in rolling your dough. You just need a thickness of just about quarter inch. So once you roll your dough, just cut this into a straight line. So you don't have to be so precise, but just try as much as possible to make it straight. So I'm not good in making straight lines. So this is what I can do and this is fine. So just try as much as possible so you don't have a dough that is too big or too fat. So just try as much as possible. Let everything be uniform.
point, you can decide to go with whatever shape that you want to. So if you want your chin chin to be very straight, if you want your chin chin to have the very smallish, very cute shape, whatever shape or whatever um, shape, right? You want your chin chin to be, just go with it. So it is fine. So just make sure that everything is uniform so that when you fry it, they can fry at the same pace and has the same crunchiness or texture at which you want your chin chin to be. After cutting, transfer these into a floured surface so you can flower your spray pan or place this in a parchment paper so that your chin chin doesn't stick together so that you can fry this in one piece and all your chin chin is going to come out one one instead of sticking together. So the next thing you want to do is to fry your chin chin in hot oil. So please be mindful of the hotness of the oil. The oil should be hot but not overly hot. And then when you're dropping your chin chin, make sure you're dropping it in 6 or in 10. Do not go and add all the chin chin at once. And then very important, do not overcrowd your frying pan as this can result to the chin chin soaking up a lot of oil and that will not be nice at all so if you want a crunching chin chin or if you want your chin chin to look fine do not overcrowd your frying pan and then when you are adding your chin chin like i said you should fly your if you're working with your frying your tray pan you should fly it so do not go and just add everything at once that can also affect the oil and everything so just make sure you just pick it up and then drop it in four or in six or just use a scoop if you're using like a scoop to just put it in so make sure that you don't add the excess flour to the frying pan when frying your chin chin as this can also affect the final results when frying your chin chin So this is the color at which your chin chin should be like golden brown. This is so attractive and it looks so appealing. When I tell you this is so delicious, you know already combining coconut and banana is very 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 yummy after frying all the badges of your chin chin just make sure you spread it in a place an open place like a tray pan so that it can cool down and once it's cooled down just place it into a container and cover it very well so that air will not make it go very soft this is crunchy so like i said you can skip the addition of the egg as this can add more moisture to it so if you're going to have serious crunch so just skip the addition of the egg but if you want it to be a bit crunchy but still soft as well then you can add the egg i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have do not forget to hit on the like button comment below love to hear from you and you can also share this delicious recipe just share this video and this will help 
post this video as well you can check my other previous video by going to my playlist or just clicking on the link that will be appearing right now to watch my older previous videos so don't forget to turn on your notifications to get notified when i drop new videos catch you later bye